SQLite is the world's most used relational database software for one simple reason. It's ridiculously easy to integrate into your app. So no database connections, no user accounts to mess with or set up or mess up. Just compile and link a single source file into your program and you're good to go. Yes, an entire SQL database system in one source file. OK, the original raw source files are in multiple source files, but the release version that you use has them all merged into one source file and two header files. Seriously, look at this. I've copied the SQLite.c and its two header files into my project. After that, create a very simple build script. So this creates a hello underscore SQLite program that links main.c and SQLite.3.c into one program. And then a little bit of C code. This single line here, SQLite3 underscore open my database.db, that will create or open the database. So if we run this, to rebuild it and then it will run. So it says open database successfully and you'll see over here we have a mydatabase.db. There's nothing in there yet because we haven't created anything, but we have our database. So let's write some code to add a users table. We're going to pretend that we're creating a web app and we need a users table to store people's usernames and, and other details. So yeah, we call init db and up here in init db, we run a SQL query that is create table if not exists. So if the two table doesn't exist, then create a users table with an ID that's the primary key, which is auto incremented. And then every user should have a username that they use to log in. We record a password hash. So no raw passwords, never store raw passwords anywhere. We store the password hash, uh, the user's first name and the family name. And that's everything that I think we should store for now. So if we run this, and it will rebuild the code again because we've added some source code to it. Run it, database initialized, and let's refresh our database view here. There you go, two tables. There's a SQLite sequence table and our users table. And once again, the users, there are no users yet, but the database structure is there. By the way, this database viewer that I'm using in VS Code it's this SQLite viewer extension. Uh, very useful when you're working on things like this. In the next video, we'll add some users to our database and it should that video should appear over here. If it isn't there yet, then click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and see you in the next video.